show. Oh, there we go. I got to unmute everything. Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Robert, a.k.a. The Tall Man, and this is my lovely co-host, my lovely wife, Lisa, a.k.a. Mrs. Tall Man. Not that anyone ever calls her that. <laughs> we are coming to you live right now from Central Florida, Port Canaveral. As you can see right behind us, well, that is the Carnival Liberty. It is the closest one to us. We actually have six, count it, six, six, six cruise ships <laughs> departing today. Uh, unfortunately, we're only going to see five of them. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah. who do we have today? So let's, let's go to that. We have the Carnival Freedom. <laughs> Been in the news a lot, at least most of the Carnival Freedom. You, you notice the, the ship going across doesn't have the whale tail? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 110,000 tons built in 2007. It is 952 feet long, 116 feet wide, slightly shorter than it was a few days ago. And it holds 2,980 passengers. It is leaving empty. Talk to about that in a minute. At around 3.30. After that, we have the Carnival Liberty, which is right behind us here. Uh, same class, right? So 110,000 tons built in 2005. 952 feet long, 116 feet wide, holds 2,974 passengers. It also is leaving at 30. Ah, the windy today, so we have uh, uh, compression and gates on here to keep the wind out. So if I drop out, it's because the wind got too loud. So I apologize. We also have the Mariner of the Seas in port today. It's 138,000 tons, built in tw uh, 2003. Uh, it is 1,020 feet long, 158 feet wide. It holds 4,000 passengers, and it departs at 4 o'clock, right? And then the Mammoth, the allure of the seas, is in town today. It is 225, 282 tons. Again, 225,282 tons. Built in 2010, it is 1,187 feet long, 215 feet wide, holds a whopping 6,780 passengers. It leaves at 4 o'clock today. Then, number 5 is the Disney Wish. It is 144,000 tons built in 2022. I'd say it's the newest ship in port, but it's not. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it is uh, 1,119 feet long, 125 feet wide, holds 4,000 passengers. It's leaving at 5 o'clock. The sixth ship, unfortunately, I well, sort of forgot to put it in here, but I didn't. It is the MS Vista from Oceana, Oceania. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um, it is, uh, this is a port of call for it today. It is uh, built in 2023. Um, I think it is, I, I may have a little stat on it. Let me see if I can pull up the stat. It is, where is it? It is 67,000 tons. It was built in 2023. It is 791 feet long. 105 feet wide, only holds 1,200 passengers, guys, but it does not depart until about 10 o'clock tonight. So it is going to be, uh, we're, we're not going to be here for that one. Probably not. I don't think our batteries will last that long. <laughs> no. And of course, um, maybe a special thing that we can catch, SpaceX is also launching, if weather permits, at around 5 o'clock. And so the good news is we've got departure cam. Yes, we do. Oh, what is it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? What are we looking at? So uh, unfortunately, I uh, I forgot uh, a very key piece of equipment that uh, we need here. <laughs> and so I'm having to do this a different kind of way. But um, we should be able to catch... SpaceX when it launches. Nice. All right. Let me zoom in a little bit. I got to find out exactly where it is, um, but uh, it's going to be launching just behind us. I think. I'm not sure. Um, Lisa might have to spot us, you know. But it, I think it's it's this way, Robert. I think it launches from right around there somewhere, and so hopefully we'll be able to catch that tonight. Yeah, that would be awesome if we can catch that as well. All right, so yeah. <laughs> we've got a big show, but for now, we 
you want to see what's going on right there with the with the liberty there you go okay so there we have it back to full screen for us so gosh hello everybody how yes. is everybody doing so let's say hello to everybody macrina hello macrina welcome to the broadcast thank you for being here as always Lori. nope she beat ya she beat ya <laughs> <laughs> hello bev well you both beat me <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we beat you all. <laughs> Traveling Hawk, welcome back. Welcome back. You finally caught alive. It's been a while. Yes, yes. We haven't seen you in a while, so welcome back to the show. All right, so we're glad to see you all today. Tom, hello there. We'll be seeing you in about a month. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And, and what does he say? A tailectomy? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> a whaleectomy, you mean? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> the freedom is hot stuff. Yes, yes, it is. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we um, we got a video of it. Um, we drove in here. To, let's see if I can get it up here on the screen. We we are actually missing a very critical piece of equipment <laughs> that <laughs> somehow we left behind in Tall Man Mobile, yeah. which is about an hour and a half from here. <laughs> and by the time I realized it was missing, it was about I don't know. 30 minutes to broadcast, so it wasn't like I was going to get there and get back. So uh, it <laughs> is going, it's, we're, we're going to have some challenging moments here. So let me see if I can figure this out on the fly for you guys, because we did catch a little video of the back of, where is it? Nope, right here. Hopefully, right here, we just want to drag it in. There it is. Here we go. And then, of course, you're listening to it, which we don't want to be listening to. <laughs> you're nothing but wind. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but we'll play that in, in a loop here for you. There you go. So that that's what it's looked like. Uh, and so uh, a, a lot of stuff still coming out uh, about the freedom. Um, yesterday, they announced everything was well, and uh, they pulled into port into Freeport um, to work on it to remove at least all the dangly bits, as I think John Heald would say. <laughs> the dangly bits. Um, they, uh, it's, it's sitting in port right now. However, um, it turns out, you know, first they put out a, a press release that, uh, and of course now I can't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. No, See that's what happens when you miss a key piece of equipment and leave it at home. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do. We're <laughs> gonna leave that there. We're gonna call this uh, Freedom Whale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back here, guys. Sorry about that. There we go. And I'm literally doing this in the fly, so uh, we just did not have the extra time that we were expecting to have to get some of this stuff loaded up for you guys. Okay, there we go. And so, anyway, uh, all the press releases originally put out were that the ship is fine, the crew is fine. Um, there were two uh, uh, of the crew members that were fighting that uh, received some, they uh, explained it as minor smoke inhalation. Uh, they were treated and are fine. Um, they also said the ship was fully operational. Nothing would be impacted. Um, they sent letters out to the people on board as well as people on the cruise ship that are leaving today. So then in the wee <laughs> afternoon hours, if you will, yesterday, another press release was uh, put out that the damage was um, much more extensive than they expected. Um, so, so much so that they weren't able to repair it in one day. In fact, uh, it's not even going to be a week. It's going to take longer than that. So they have had to cancel the next two cruises for the Carnival Freedom. So the poor people that were probably half of them already here or en route to be here, especially if they were flying, um, their cruise has been canceled. So uh, Carnival is giving them a 100% refund plus a 100% future cruise credit. Uh, so for those who've been impacted by the fire that happened on board uh, two days ago, um, the next two cruises have had to been canceled because, um, well, the damage is much further uh, or much worse than expected. Um, it's, it's really hard to tell from, from this particular video, um, but you can see it there. 
Yeah, it's it's missing a good good portion of a funnel for it, sure. It is not. I don't think it's at least from the outsides. I don't think it looks nearly as bad. I can mute that. Um, nearly as bad as uh, the fire they had two years ago in May 2022. Um, and so I remember seeing that one, which, by the way, before I go any further, if you are watching and saw any of the video, um, the second video that I put out, it was an update. There was video footage. I have to apologize. Um, the last video I had been showing was actually the video from 2022 um, in the in the heat of the moment, in the, in the battle, trying to get this all put together as quickly as I could for everybody. I grabbed the wrong video clip. And so I want to issue apology to everybody um, that the video um, clip that it was playing in the update that I had been showing was actually from the 2022 fire. Now, oddly enough, this looks exactly like that one did, um, but I at least wanted to uh, admit that I, I made a mistake and I apologize to everybody for having the clip in there. So, again, sorry if we're coming and going a little bit with the audio, but I mean, it is really, really windy out here. So, um, there's a, a, an effect on a microphone it's called a gate, which means the, the microphone won't open until we speak loud enough. So we've had to turn it up pretty high so all you're, you're not hearing the whole time with the wind. So sometimes our voice is going to cut out just a little bit. And so, again, we do apologize for that. But you're not here to hear us talk anyway. We're, we're, we're here to see the ships leave. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> and there they are. We'll, we'll go back to this one. We're at least up on screen. Yeah. So that is the Carnival uh, Liberty behind us. Um, and it, I mean, you can see it's right here. You can see it right on the screen. Um, we, we are at the very end of uh, the, the port, I guess, or the channel. Uh, there's a little uh, boat dock right here. I can actually, let's see if I can uh, get this uh, thing to work with me. here. Let me turn this back off. Um, we'll spin this around. There is there's a little place you can clean fish right there. Right there's a dock uh, where you can launch your boat at. Not really a dock, but it's a launch area, a little launch area which is right here. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Come on, Robert, work it. See this? This is with with. Oh, they're doing their emergency drill. There we go. There's a boat uh, launch right there, and so this is right at the end of the channel. And so um, you can see the end of the channel right here. All right, that is the uh, Atlantic Ocean right there at the end there. Uh, there's another spot called Jetty Park. You can see some RVs parked there. All right, so we're in this little plot of land. I can uh, pan down, Robert. We are... What are you looking at? That that's my that's the tent. <laughs> that's the shadow from our tent. <laughs> yep. That's the tent, everybody. Or at least the shadow thereof. Actually it's not seeing it. Anyway, there there's the tent. We we are right under that white thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck my neck out. So we, we are sitting right here awaiting the ship to leave. Oh, I was gonna wave, but I don't think Yeah, we, yeah you'd have you to get up. See. So let, let's <laughs> let's get back to what they're here to see. They're not exactly here to see. they want to see that. Uh, I don't know if the microphones were picking up, but they just ran their emergency drill. We heard uh seven short beeps and one long. Yes we did. So I would think um this one and the freedom are supposed to leave at the same time. Uh as you can see uh, the, the this one is uh facing the wrong direction if you will, the Liberty. And so it's going to have to go up to at least the mid basin, do a U-turn and then come out. So I don't know if it will leave first um, or leave second, but I would think it might leave first. Um, anyway, so we'll, we'll find out. I mean, it's going to leave one way or the other. And mm -hmm. so we'll see which one's first. And thank you all for the thumbs up. I've yes. been seeing, it's really hard um, with the, with the glare on the, the screen, it's really hard to see them as they're coming through, but I do see that there's a bunch of them there, so thank you all so much. We appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. 1,000%. Yes. Right, so um, uh, the other thing, I, we're hoping this one leaves first because it'll be nice. It'll give us nice, clear views of the channel as they're coming down the channel. A couple of the other times that we've done this, uh, the ship here is leaving last, and we don't get to see the other ships until they're like right on us. It's like, oh man, come on, we want to see the ships. 
that's what we're here to do. So uh, let's get back to some of your comments. Macrina says, uh, to be honest, the 2022 damage looked a lot worse. Yeah, you know, it, it did. Um, and so, but it, it, it's hard to say, right? I mean, there's visual damage and then there's stuff that we can't see. Um, obviously, this was bad enough um, that uh, um, they canceled a couple cruises. Macrina, do you remember? Did they, can they have to cancel any cruises in 2022? I'll be honest, I don't remember. And Angela, we didn't forget about you. Hello there, hun. How are you? Good to see you, as always. Absolutely. Hopefully y'all had uh, nice sexual healing the other night. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. And McCreen also says, cool. You, you see what I put up with? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the weather won't affect the liftoff. Um, I don't know. Obviously, you can see. I mean, it's, it's a little overcast. It's not bad. I've seen them... Uh, launch and way worse. I just don't know what the wind threshold is. Exactly, because, it, you know, we've talked several times, you know, every time we come here, we talk about how windy it is. It is way windier, I think, today than it has been in the past. Yeah, I think it's windier today than it was during the storm the first day we came here. Yeah, I think so. So fortunately, we're not having to hold everything down. We've got stakes. We've got ratchet straps. We've got Sand sandbags. <laughs> oh. There's another one. There is, is another one. That was just one oh, blast. Yeah, it's a, a barge that... coming through. Oh, okay. All so we, right. We get our first one, which is a barge. All right. Well, let's All watch right, the barge so let's, then. Let's go down here <laughs> and uh, actually, I don't need to. Let's uh, go over to the barge. We have it. We can zoom in just a little bit too, guys, so y'all can see. Is that one of the fueling barges? I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. I can't tell. Um, yeah, it's definitely a fuel barge. All right. Yep. And that's usually what happens when you're here. We see the barge leave out first. What I'm having to use is basically a virtual joystick. So it, it's it's uh it's not precise like the normal equipment I use. So but that's you know why what? it wavers a little bit. I still think it's better than you getting out there and moving the tripod around. That yeah. was awful. <laughs> whoa, 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 come on. See, I'm going down, but it's not going down. <laughs> there we go. And that looks like it is called Clean Canaveral. It could be um, natural gas. Oh, okay. That would make sense then. Yeah. When I first looked at, it, I looked at it, I thought it said ocean. I was like, wait a minute. That's not ocean. <laughs> And that is Pal up there doing the work today. Hal is on us. We have Pal over there. And normally when we're here, we also see the uh, Victory Cruise Casino ship coming, too. Oh, yeah, so we sure do. We'll uh, see that usually around 4, 4.30, I think. Back in. So there you go. We are live, by the way, at Port Canaveral. We are going to be watching five cruise ships leave today. There is a sixth one in town today. It is the uh, the Vista from Oceania, or Oceania, depending on how you pronounce it. And I've heard it both ways. Um, however, it doesn't depart till 10 o'clock. And so we're not going to be able to uh, be here that long. Yeah, our batteries definitely will not make it that long. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure with what we're having to do and throw everything together the way that we're throwing it together today. If, hopefully we'll get through all the rest of them. <laughs> there you go. Very nice job following that that yeah. uh, fuel tanker there. Even the fuel you barge. Play by play. Yes. <laughs> See, that is so much more smooth than just turning the, uh, <laughs> the right. tripod around. As you can see, Clean Canaveral goes by <laughs> ever so slow. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Wrong. This, this way. <laughs> up, 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 up. There we go. That should take care of the rest of it. Making its way into the ocean. It is. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there you go. That uh, is the uh, barge that uh, gives the ships fuel. And so we thank them. And by the way, we did it during uh, the uh, update stream for the uh, Freedom, but 
again, congrats to, to the crew for such an admirable uh, job they did in containing that fire. Fires at sea are absolutely worst case scenario for any ship um, at sea. Yeah, and um, they did a great job getting that thing put out quickly. You can tell how windy it is by that camera. That camera is on a really large and very stable stand. and With, it's, with sandbags on top of it as well. And it's wavering <laughs> in the wind, so you can tell exactly how windy it is. But anyway, um, yeah, so our hat's off uh, to the crew of the Carnival Freedom for the just amazing work they did. Absolutely. So I'm going to zoom back out, and then we're going to turn this back around and get it back onto the Liberty. People out there watching. Go. Very nice. A bit further. Let's zoom in and see if we can see them facing the lines at all. Because I, I really feel that uh, you can see everybody up there on the top. Everybody wave. See everybody <laughs> up on the top deck there? Let's... Uh, you guys won't be able to see them in the camera way. That that's as uh, as much as the camera actually zooms in. But I I can go up a little bit. There you go. Look at that. They're all lined in the back of the ship. So I'm I'm thinking they're getting ready to leave, because yeah, I see uh, people here at the the uh, longshoremen, if you will, port oh, staff yeah. is, is the, standing by. Yeah, I see and the they, yellow vest. And they are releasing one of the lines is already slack. So yeah, it looks like uh, the Carnival Liberty is going to be the first to leave. All right. So, yeah, exciting. So, yeah, we should have great views of all the other ships coming down. Yeah. Very nice. Excellent. We want to welcome everybody to the stream. Again, I am Robert, a.k.a. the Tall Man. That's my lovely wife, Lisa, here, over here, right next to me. There's my name, and there's her name right there. <laughs> <laughs> we are live from Port Canaveral right now, and we have five ships going out. We're going to cover this for you guys live so that you can see them all head out to sea on their effective journeys yes Ooh, all kinds of noise going on yeah you can see the lines have all dropped uh, it you almost guys, sounds like a warning doesn't yeah, it <laughs> no it, it's there the um mechanisms that are winding the ropes up into the ship that's the noise you're Gotcha. Um, you guys are probably not going to be able to hear this. In fact, uh, I don't even think I can turn. Oh, let me see here. Yeah, there's there's no audio on uh, PAL. So, um, but all you would hear is wind anyway. It would have to be really quiet. If it was quiet and, and we could turn the gain or the, the gate off the microphones, um, the, oddly enough, this is one of the main reasons why we bought these, because of doing this. Um, it is, oh, oh. That was one. one. That was more. just one, yeah. short one. Um, because of the wind out here, we need the ability to add um, processing, if you will, right? To, to make sure that the audio is good enough that you guys can, oh, can hear the partying up there. Um, is that and, what that is? Yep, I heard the. It's it's really Crowd hard screaming. to hear the outside noise with the headphones on. Yeah, I can hear them. <laughs> so that's why we got the duo. That's why we got these headsets. Yes. So, uh, but... uh, uh, that was a long blast. Yeah. That was a really long blast. <laughs> the next time it happens, I'll try to turn the gate off on my mic. And see if that will help. But definitely the uh, back ropes are gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, they're moving. Oh, yeah, they sure are. Yep. They sure are. Our first one of the day, everybody. Yep. Carnival Liberty, 110,000 tons. Uh, built in, I don't remember. I don't have my, I, I again, you I don't might. have the notes. And I don't want to take off, you know, the screen off of this so I can see it. You might need to zoom out a little bit, though, so they can actually see it as it goes by us. And we can zoom in. Zoom out a little bit as it starts to move. Yeah. There you go. And actually, what I'll do is I'll just uh, take this and pan up a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. That looks good there. <sighs> so while we're watching that, let's see. Macrina says, 
Robert, your key piece of equipment is sitting next to you. Your co-pilot, Lisa. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Macrina. <laughs> yeah, but no. <laughs> no, I, I'm not a key piece of equipment. Not my, at least as far as video operation yes, goes. My, my key, key piece of technical <laughs> equipment. Not my key piece of equipment in life. <laughs> Two completely different things. <laughs> Macrina also says, no worries in the wrong video. All here to help you. Uh, absolutely thank yes, you so much absolutely yes. and macrina says oh yes they canceled several in 2020 okay did so they? okay uh angela says most definitely uh i believe she uh <laughs> in response to macrina what's the temperature Lori? it is a balmy windy 80 degrees here in central florida at least it was um outside the port um usually at the port it's a little bit cooler because of the um, the breeze. The breeze. Let me get an update for or you guys. Or the gusts as we have today. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's, it is a steady. Yeah, it's, it's pretty steady, guys. I wonder what the winds it's, actually it's are. It's 74 degrees here right now. Oh, and 14 mile per hour winds. Yep. Okay. With higher gusts. Yes, with higher so, gusts. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it was 81 a little bit further inland, but it's a little bit more overcast here. So um, It is. Not very much uh, sun shining around here at the moment. No blue skies. There you go. Just pushing sideways away from the dock to get out to the main part of the channel. Ooh, almost lost my windscreen. Um, that way there it has clear path to get uh, to the, I believe they call it the mid-basin, where they can spin around. So Macrina says three sailings were canceled in 2022. Um, not including her dry dock in 2022. I know, it's just October. I they know. They just put that new funnel on in October. Man. Right? <laughs> so, David says, mine and my wife's first and only cruise was on the Liberty. Uh, it was a great first cruise going on the Jubilee next year. Very awesome. nice. I'm yes. sure you've gone and watched all the videos we did on the Jubilee. Yeah. You'll be an expert when you get on that ship if you watch all of those. Exactly. Macrina says, uh, you never know the Coast Guard maybe being extra thorough in, in any of the compliance issues with Carnival. Um, uh, absolutely. Uh, look, there's all kinds of reasons why they're going to have to make these cancellations. Um, but, you know, they went and did the inspections like they should do. And, oh, 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 no, no. There we go. Um, and have deemed it necessary to put it, you know, they're going back to Freeport for two weeks uh, to do the work that needs to be done on it. Um, my guess is there's probably um, some interior collapse of the pipe that allows the exhaust to come out. Um, and that means they're going to have to cut it apart to get to it to fix. And that's just not. And, and again, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Um, I was also, since we're, we're talking about whale tails and fires and things, I've been thinking about this a lot and coming here today and looking at the whale tail, there's been a lot of speculation that it's just a bad design, which causes the fires because no other ships um, have had um, funnel fires, if you will, like this. And so if you notice, you know, the whale tail there in front of it, there's kind of a little, a small little section. I don't have a way to point it out to you. Let me see if I can mm -hmm. zoom in just a little bit more. It's that part right in the very front of the whale tail. Basically, that is like an intake for air. So as the smoke is coming up the main part of the funnel, as it's going forward, the air then catches the smoke and then pushes it out the, the whale part of the whale tail. And so I don't mm -hmm. really think it's a design flaw because if it was, they would have had way more fire. I would agree. Because there's a lot of old ships out there yeah. that would probably have had a lot of soot buildup. So I just don't, I just don't think it's a design flaw. I think it's with, with the freedom, uh, it, it, again, all accounts, it got hit by lightning. I mean, everybody saw the flash and a huge bang and then the fire started. And so I would have to, again, you know, just assume and I hate assuming but assume that that it was the lightning that that caused it and ultimately whatever soot was there the spark and the, the charge from the lightning caught it on fire um, but if if it was a bad design there would have been 
way more carnival ships uh, funnels that would have caught on fire. So I, I just don't think so. I think it's just just bad, bad luck. luck. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, really bad luck. Yeah, <laughs> being uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time. I guess I don't know. Yeah. And Bev says those were seven day cruises they canceled in 2022. Okay. So yeah, so then it took that that took like 20 21 days to do the repair work. This is going to take 10 if they're they're five day cruises. Because I believe that's what they're going out on is two five day cruises, um, and so um, yeah, let me just turn this down just a scooch. Okay, and Macrina says Bon Voyage Liberty. Well, she's not quite leaving yet. She's going uh, in in por- into the port a little bit, do a spin around, and then go out to. Sea. Yeah, she's actually facing the wrong way from the ocean. So. Yes, she's heading inland now. Yep. So we are going to get a good look at her. <laughs> Macrina also believes it's not a design. Yeah. A design flaw. All right, let's go ahead and. Well, you can actually catch a glimpse of the Allure sitting down there. It's so darn big. Thing is huge. <laughs> Yeah, Macrina says 50 plus years of Carnival Cruises, nah, not a design issue. Yeah, that, that's no, what I'm saying. I don't think so. Yeah, that's, I, I agree a thousand percent, Macrina. But it just seems to happen to Carnival ships. That's just the, 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 the weird part of it, right? In, in more recently than anything, right? So, and this also could be part of the reason why, not funnel fires, but, you know, they're shipping to... Uh, uh, Witching, witching to cleaner fuel so that, uh, you know, there is not as much soot buildup and or uh, admissions into the air. And so, you know, moving forward, um, you know, there won't be a lot of buildup. I don't know if you could see when it was sitting here, but, you know, the, the outside of the whale part, it's, it's all black from the soot buildup. So I can certainly understand if, if lightning did hit a funnel, it's going to catch fire because the soot is highly flammable. It's, it's no different than, you know, the carbon or the soot buildup inside of chimneys and fireplaces at homes. You know, how many fireplace fires are there every single year? Um, people who have fireplaces, they're instructed to clean. I think it's once a year or once every other year. I can't remember. Um, but, you know, you're supposed to have those come be professionally cleaned. So I don't know how Carnival cleans the whale tail. It, it's not like you can climb up there and get to it. No, right, so. you don't know how often, and, and maybe that's changed, you know. Maybe maybe yeah. that's a, a, a an after-COVID no. thing. Yeah, I don't know. Well, or maybe they can climb up in the inside and clean it when it's maybe. in port and turned off. I, again, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and any old carnival engineers out there, let us know. Yeah, we'd love to know. <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> uh, Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> have, have our Coca-Cola today. We've got some popcorn. Yeah, I got some fruit. Trying to, trying to stay, uh, stay a little healthier maybe today. I don't know. <laughs> in in between, we were going to do some other cruise news and uh, some more entitlement stuff like we did the last time, but I, I really have no way to do that, um, fortunately. So I'm going to try to remember a few things as we're watching the Liberty go in and about to do a um, First one is is actually about the freedom. There was somebody just going to zoom in that that's as far as the camera zoom in everybody and i apologize maybe we'll upgrade to a camera somewhere in the future that uh zooms in a little further than that but i think that's pretty good anyway there was somebody um moaning and groaning about the situation not necessarily about the fire but for those who paid attention to all the details uh it first started with the freedom missing a port they had to skip a port because of bad weather, which was ultimately Princess what, Key. Princess Key, mm-hmm. which was ultimately the day the fire happened. So they were supposed to be in a port, but because of bad weather, they were not, not able to get in there. So they ended up having to do a day at sea. Um, so then, because of the fire, they had to pull into Freeport. Now, what's interesting about this, this now actually gave them, the people, another port to go to, Mm -hmm. um, to be able to experience another part of the Bahamas. Okay. It may not have been the original port, but at least something to do. So this particular passenger was, uh, also, by the way, according to this particular passenger, um, they were being forced 
to stay when they got to Freeport. The passengers could not go on the outside decks. They had to stay um, inside the ship um, or get off the ship and go do whatever you want to do. Yeah, that was what, yeah, they were either being forced to either stay inside um, the interior of the ship or being forced to go out and do excursions, I believe was the way it was worded. Right, and the reason why they say excursions is uh, for anyone who's gone to Freeport, there's not a lot around the port. You know, I mean, there's stuff inside the port, but once you leave that port area, there's just, there's nothing there. A, a lot of these places uh, down in the Caribbean and the Bahamas that you go to, if you walk outside the gate, there's a ton of stuff. In Freeport, you know, it's about a mile, mile and a half away, so you'd have to take a taxi. The point is, this particular passenger was going to have to spend more money now uh, because they were being held captive in the ship for 12 hours. And, and the post went on and on. And, and again, I can't remember all the words, and I don't have a way to show it to you, uh, so I apologize. But what we did find was several pictures and video today from people out on the outside decks of the ship while they were in Freeport. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what this particular person was complaining about. <laughs> but they, it, they, they had also asked to be reimbursed for the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi because now they were being forced to, to get off the to ship. Get off, yeah. <laughs> we have to get off the ship. Like, no, you don't have to get off the ship. You can stay on board. There's tons of things to do on the inside of the ship. It'd be no different, for instance, the day the fire happened. Everybody was inside the ship. Why? Because it was storming outside. <laughs> you can't be at the pool when it's thunder and lightning and pouring. Closure could be, but I, 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 a lot of the cruise lines prevent you from doing that anyway. The point is, there's tons <laughs> of things to do on the ship. You weren't being forced. Carnival didn't say you have to leave the ship. So I, I, I don't know. It's just you just can't make everybody happy. No, it's it's, in, it's impossible, right? I mean, I understand, you know, it's disappointing, you know, that everything that happened, but... Absolutely. You know. So, yeah. So it was a two-hour where they were kept inside for two hours, but even then, um, they were kept inside for two hours. That was two hours. Again, <laughs> they were already inside. It was storming. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. You can see them. There, there's the mid-base, and you can see the Liberty now doing its about face. Oh, you sure can. Look at that. Yep. Can you zoom in? Uh, no, that's it. I'm Is all that the way it? in. Okay. Yeah, I'm all the way in. Very nice. Okay. Patricia, hey, Patricia. Hi, the Patricia. Carnival Ships uh, uh, needs as much needed flux capacitor, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Karina says, uh, uh, amazing how uh, someone is upset about bad weather port cancellations. If it's raining, you're not going to enjoy Princess K or other. Well, see, this was the thing in, in their post. They, they understood that. Hey, you can't control Mother Nature. I'm like, okay, that's starting off pretty good when I started reading it. So at least they get that, right? Um, but when it was like, we should be in re- reimbursed for this, that, or whatever, because we're now being forced to get off the ship. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> and then when I saw the videos of people actually outside on the upper decks, I'm like, I, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, you, you're that just pool looking was for packed. That pool was packed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bev's like, well, well, duh, some people. I, I know. <laughs> These complainers just want something free. I, I, exactly. I think McCrina. so, yeah. and, and that's a lot of it. And, uh, uh, you know, I feel bad for, you know, at, at least they got to finish their cruise. They ended up with a second port where they weren't going to get it before. They did. Um, because of the bad weather. Um, and they got to finish their cruise. The next two cruises, those people aren't going to get to finish. They're not going to take their cruise, right? Um, Carnival, uh, uh, in their uh, uh, press release, didn't mention reimbursing anybody for their flights. Because, again, uh, this this came out yesterday, right? There's a lot of people who were on planes when this press release came out because it was fairly late yesterday because the first press release of the day yesterday was everything is fine. Yes, and that so is true. It was only later in the day. Like for instance, when we go out to uh, get on the frenzy here in the uh, uh, April 25th, we're leaving on the 24th, right? Early in the morning. Cause we got to, got to fly. Of course it's cross country. And so if we were on a plane, I mean, it's, you know, we're, we're losing that. So they're not any of these people who flew in for the next cruise. Yes, they're getting reimbursed for the cruise 100%. Yes, they're getting 100% uh, future fru- uh, cruise credit, but um, they're not being reimbursed for hotel, airfare. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot of those comments coming soon, too. Oh, I'm sure you're <laughs> right. But at least for this other person in regards to them, at least they got to finish their cruise. Right? Anyway, so yeah. 
I, I know that that's just my thought of the whole situation. Let me see if I can make this go down just a little bit. Down. No, no. Down. Down. <laughs> yeah, the virtual jo joystick is a little rough, guys. <laughs> there you go. That's a little bit better. Yes, I think we've decided we're going to have a little emergency toolkit or tool bag yeah. that has extra supplies. <laughs> yeah. So when we leave the wire plugged in in the RV with the uh, key piece attached to it, yeah. we've got a backup. <laughs> well, the, the piece that we're m missing, oddly enough, it's just a little adapter, but that a little adapter allows like five other things to be plugged in that I need <laughs> to do this under normal operations. Um, and, um, you know, we do a lot of different things. And so we're constantly packing and repacking um, for the different things that we do. And so, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to slowly acquire duplicates of things so we're not constantly packing and repacking for the different type of uh, things that we do so we don't forget little things we need. <laughs> I know. And we were so excited. We finally got the cameras, you know, all the equipment that we needed to, to do, put on a great show, departures and ship departures. And, and yeah, <laughs> then we go and leave that behind. So yeah. anyway, for those, I still think it's better for those joining us late. We are live in Port Canaveral in central Florida here behind us. Um, it, it's, it's hard to, you got to stare at it, but the, the carnival Liberty uh, was literally just right there. Um, <laughs> But she was facing into port, so she's gone into port to the area called the Mid Basin. She's just spun around. You can set, now see her nose, um, and she's going to be coming right back by us. That is the first ship to leave today. Um, the second ship is supposed to be the Carnival Freedom. Um, we, we don't know. There's nobody on board, <laughs> so um, I don't know if they're planning to stay here and get repairs, but I'm assuming they're going to go back to Freeport because um, they are set up there for those kinds of things. Well, the, the news said that they were going back to Freeport, but what I don't know is are they going to keep their slot here for their departures? When are they actually leaving? I don't know because there's no passengers. Yeah. Real quick, uh, uh, Gina, you are looking at the Carnival Liberty. 110,000 tons, built in 2005, 952 feet long, 116 feet wide, 2,974 passengers. It is the one that you're watching right now. As I mentioned, it literally was just right right there. <laughs> 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 you, what you're looking at now, you couldn't see because the ship was blocking the, the views of the entire channel. Yeah. Uh, so it has gone up to the mid-basin. It is now spun around. It is now pointed directly at us, coming back this way. So, yeah, there you have it. So um, Bev says um, there was a letter sent to passengers uh, stating that they would be reimbursed up to $200 for flights or other travel insurance didn't cover them or something to that effect. Oh, okay. Um, I had not heard maybe that. Maybe that is yet an, uh, an update of the update of the update. Yeah. Um, the one that I, I read, it said nothing about the, the $200. I, it seems reasonable. Um that they would go that far, obviously. Um, but I, I just, we didn't see it, so I personally can't confirm. Uh, Bev, we will take your word for it, okay? Um, but that seems reasonable. I just, if I can't put my eyes on it, I can't, I can't. You, you, you know <laughs> We what can't I mean. announce it. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about it, but we can't announce it. <laughs> Gina, again, that is the liberty coming back this way. Yes. Trina says, needing a packing checklist like I do for cruises. <laughs> You, you know, we, we've talked about that. We have, and we actually started one, but we've added some more gear, and so we haven't updated the yeah. packing list. Yeah. Um, the che yeah, the checklist. Yeah. Um, we, so, yeah. We've, we've changed a little, because of the new cameras that we've had, we've, we've changed how we've set up here, um, and... Uh, <laughs> bit of a mess I'm not gonna a, lie to you, but it is. you don't see it but that's all that matters um, <laughs> we used to have our computer on a stand well we don't need the computer on a stand because we're not using the camera computer um, so we've actually gone to a table because we also have you know my cool little thank you everybody for the thumbs up right yes or, uh, if or I... is it this one no no it is now if I feel that I'm gonna you know... I, I heard a lot of that today <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to start launching a lot of four-letter words, <laughs> I got that button. <laughs> anyway, so we, we've switched to a table, 
And so now there's a big table in front of us, but um, we're also in pretty tall chairs that you like directors type chairs. So we had to jack the table up. So it just a lot of extra stuff that we haven't had to have before. And so uh, <laughs> the list has gotten a little bit longer. Um, so we'll update it. Um, I'm not sure that piece is on there though. Cause it, yeah, I, I don't, don't even know. know what to call that piece. Just the adapter. <laughs> It'll be forever known as the, the adapter. adapter. <laughs> Every time we broadcast, we're, you guys are going to be like, so did you bring the adapter? I'm like, well, we're live, aren't we? Well, yeah. I, we're, we were going to go live one way or the other. If we had to go old school with me holding the phone, we're, 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 we're going on air. We actually talked about that. Do yeah. we have to do that again? I'm like, no, just, just give me a minute to just, just put all the six ounces of brain I have left <laughs> into this thing and figure out how to do it, <laughs> which I got the virtual joystick and there you have it. Cause the, the biggest thing is, is the controller that I use for switching scenes, uh, the cameras, you know, everything. Um, obviously that's the big piece of equipment that we're missing. Um, but it, it allows us to do the things that we need to do. Uh, by the way, if you are new to the stream, thank you so much for being here. God bless you guys. We do appreciate every single one of uh, you. Really, we do. Do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Tall Man Clan. Hit the thumbs up as well. That lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job and you like watching these type of videos. If you like watching them, we will do more of them. Um, at the same time, become part of the Tall Man Clan. Uh, oh, that's, that's my email. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> uh, go to Facebook. Become part of our group, Tall Man's Cruise Adventures. Just go to search Tall Man's Cruise Adventures on Facebook. Um, make sure you answer the two questions, okay? That will let you write in. If, if you don't answer the questions, it's going to deny you. Yeah. It's not hard. You know, what was your first ship? If you've never been on a ship before, put none. And then are you uh, going to abide by the rules? Yes. Basically, will you be nice to everybody on, yes. on Facebook? Yes. Yes. Of course you will. <laughs> so, anyway. So, uh, yeah, come and join us on uh, on Facebook as well. We put different stuff up on Facebook than we do here uh, on YouTube. And yeah. so, for some extra content, go there. Yeah. And then the uh, the um, email link, if you'd like to join us live, yeah, we'd yeah. love to have you. Just, you know. Yeah, as long as I have my adapter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just not today. <laughs> we do all kinds of interviews and things as well. And so if you want to be part of a live show, whether you're on a ship and want to show us something, uh, share with us uh, your experience and you want to come on live, it doesn't take any special equipment. Just your phone and an internet connection. Uh, send me an email, the tall man's cruise adventures. And... Uh, uh, we'll arrange to bring you on the show. Absolutely. All right. Ah, Liberty's getting closer. It is. It looks so much closer when you turn around. Well, she's going to be picking up speed now, too. Yep, she is. It's going to put my virtual joystick skills to the <laughs> test. Let's see if you can keep up with her. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to have to zoom out. We'll do that as we get ah, a little thank bit closer. You. <laughs> yeah, we're a happy crowd. Uh, but spell check prompted Rowdy first. <laughs> Speaking of spell check, did you see my first post? I put watching to go out to see S E E. <laughs> spell check sometimes doesn't work. <laughs> Not for my horrible grammar. What was the uh, the one that I was telling you about today that I saw the uh, spell check? Um, um, oh, criminal. Yeah. Instead of instead of caramelized onions, it said crimi criminal criminalized, criminalized onions. onions instead of caramelized <laughs> onions. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> criminalized onions. Those onions are criminal. You gotta love spell check. <laughs> <laughs> they're so good, they're criminal. <laughs> <sighs> Too funny. Well, we're rowdy, but in 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 a nice way. Not in a, in, in a rude or disrespectful way. And that's what we don't want on our Facebook group. We just want, you know, happy cruisers. Absolutely. Right? And yes, I know, know people have bad days sometimes. I'm <laughs> the first one to admit that. So, wrong way again. Wrong. Nope, 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 nope. We're going this way. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a good ship. It is. By the way, if you didn't make it to the end of our last stream, we have added another cruise. Just in case you didn't know, we are going to be heading out on the Emerald Princess here like soon. We're going to be doing the Carnival Frenzy first, then uh, doing a back-to-back -back on the MSC. Come on. 
Come on, Ferg. Come on. Going up. Um, then we're going to be doing a back-to-back -back on the MSC Seascape. And then, um, like, the next day, <laughs> we're going to be climbing on the Emerald Princess. Oh, I hear the party. I, I am going to mute my mic and go see if I can get them to blow the horn. All right. <laughs> So I, Robert, every now and then, is able to get them to blow the horn. So we are going to see if he can do it. I don't know if you guys can hear the party or not with the, the way our setup is. Um, but I do hear people on board the ship. Um, I'm just thinking with our microphone situation the way it is, you probably aren't going to be able to hear them. But maybe we can get the ship horns to blow and hopefully you'll be able to hear that. Well, I can certainly hear the party. Um, we did not get the ship to blow their horn. And a few people are waving. Not very many, but a few people are waving. So that's good to see. But we were, Robert was unsuccessful in getting the, the captain to blow his horn this time. So we're going to try again. <laughs> I could actually hear you trying. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. No. And, and and we're losing sight of the ship, too. Oh, no. Oh, we sure are. There we go. Let me zoom back out. All right. There we go, everybody. I'm moving it, but the wind's blowing it back. There we there go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, come on, Captain, blow that horn. I could actually hear you even with my headphones on, I could hear, yeah. But I don't know. You let us know if you guys can hear the party on board the ship. I don't know what you can hear with us having the headsets on. Especially the way we've got them closed off because of the wind. Oh. She looks so happy heading out to sea. Right? Yeah. Where she belongs. Right? Up, up, up. <laughs> up. There you go. That looks good. <laughs> Just here when McCree oh, says, yeah. I, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Maybe one of these days we do these and it won't be a lot of wind. Nope, yeah, no Laura party. Yeah, hear the party. Yeah. I'm wondering if they would even be able to hear the horn if the horn was blowing. Probably because that you would think? open it up. It'd be loud. You think? All yeah. right. So we will continue to try that then. I think, I think the last we'll time. we hear it. I think the last time they blew the horn for us. I can't remember. I think we saw the Liberty leave once before. I believe we have. So. As the whale tail sets off into the sunset, <laughs> the ship left port. <laughs> the complete on, whale tail. <laughs> on an overcast day. On board, 2,970 souls. Going out to experience the fun ship. <laughs> they were uh dum dum da 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 oh yeah bang bang in your heart i, I don't know all the words <laughs> <laughs> mccreen also says I saw the Port Canaveral post for tomorrow, and I talked, uh, and I talked on my phone, and they said so today to see freedom. Oh, okay. 
Uh, always like the early morning uh, spinorama in the port of Miami, right? I do too. I usually am up for that. Let's uh, go a little bit more for you guys. Get her centered. There we go. Uh, nothing better than a fun squad sail away party. I, I, I got to tell you, they absolutely. They are the best. They, they are absolutely amazing. Um, we did catch a little bit of the sail away on the uh, seashore yep. the second time. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a pretty good party. It was. I was impressed. It was a pretty good party. Yeah. Uh, but nothing like the Carnival Fun Squad. No. I'll be right back. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, we sure did. We left... Um, some of our stuff out here under uh, oh, that should be under the tent. It is not under the tent, so Robert's moving that. Um, we have a couple of big 50-pound bags of sand that um, we, we brought to fill up some of the sandbags. And, and uh, yeah, I guess we neglected to put them under the tent. So thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, yeah, there she goes. I'm also gonna disappear for one more second and take a look down the channel. All right. Let me see if I can. I don't see anything else coming yet, um, so we can leave it there on the Liberty a little bit longer. I'm trying to see if I see the Freedom moving, but I can't see the Freedom because of the wish. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh no, I see the Freedom over there on the far side. Yeah, she's still there. So I don't think uh, she might not be leaving at three thirty. Yeah, yeah. that I'm was the one thing that I didn't know. I'm also trying to get my perspective of where SpaceX uh, is launching from, but I I think it's right there. So it's going to be one of those things that tough to get because I don't know exactly where to point the camera. <laughs> Is it straight out this way or this way? Okay. So to the left of the, the uh, military ship? Okay. All right. Well, the good news is we have a fake joystick <laughs> <laughs> so we can spin the camera around. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to put my, uh, my I know. hoodie on. It's actually I it's, it is. That breeze is cool. I already put my jacket on. Uh, the wind is actually helping me put it on. <laughs> it blew it right on for me. There right. <laughs> yeah, I know you're probably up there in, in, in six inches of snow going, you wimps. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't believe you're putting jackets on. It's 74 degrees. <laughs> It's the wind, <laughs> not the not the chill. It's the wind. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Just gave us a thumbs up. Thank you. You are looking at the the aft end of the Carnival Liberty. It was the first ship to leave today. Um, the next ship supposedly supposed to leave is the Carnival Freedom. Um, at least, uh, well, it's going to be leaving with no passengers. I'm sure most of you watching are you well aware of uh, what has happened to that. We all we also have the Mariner of the Seas um, in port today. Um, it's going to be leaving at four o'clock. We also have the Allure of the Seas. Huge. God, it is so big. I just can't imagine the icon. You know what's funny though? The icon isn't that much bigger. No. It's not that much bigger, but it does overhang a little bit more. Um, and then of course we do have the Disney Wish. Okay, so the Disney Wish is supposed to depart about the same time as as, uh, as SpaceX. As SpaceX is supposed to go off. Yes. So. Yeah. So we're hopeful that uh, it's not too windy and that the rocket will lift off and we'll be able to catch that for you as well. There she goes, off into the distance. Yeah. You know, Bye, Liberty. You know, it's funny. The camera now is giving us a better views than our eyes. Oh, it sure is. Yeah, the camera's up 16 feet, guys. <laughs> it's up there quite a bit. It is. <laughs> We've got a, when I told you a big stand, it is a big stand. It is. We like that big stand. <laughs> and actually, I had support staff come over like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> We're like, nothing, sir. 
<laughs> We're just getting ready to broadcast. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> if the tent wasn't enough, then you know this big tall beacon. Anyway, yeah, God, I love but that. But you know, they also the the port people also did make mention that sometimes some submarines um, come up over there by the yeah. the military ships. So, yeah. and I didn't know that. I had no idea. So that would be really cool if aren't, we could catch that. Aren't they in the mid? Is I have it there. I have no idea. I I thought it was it. I don't know if it's this one or that one. There there's two little inlets gotcha. right here at the end. But obviously there's military ships in there. Yeah, but there yeah, are. There, there is a submarine base here, guys. And for those who didn't know, well, I think we've pretty much lost. Uh, wow, we have lost the views. Oh no, there you can see her. You guys can still see her. You still see her. Wow. All right. So what else do we have there? Uh, Lori says, you know how excited ask those people are heading out for their cruise. It's always so exciting. It is. Yeah. It's incredibly exciting. It is. All right. I'm going to move this uh, camera back now. You know, we can look at the military vessels until something comes along if you want. Nah. Nah. We'll look down the channel. Okay. That's good, too. Oh, there's a little boat. <laughs> there we go. Down the channel. Very nice. And that's zoomed all the way in, so we'll we'll get a good shot of whatever's coming next. So yeah, because it's four o'clock, so I mean it's we got you know all kinds of stuff happening within this next hour. So this is like the the witching hour, if you will, for all the ships. Right. And it also could be, and and I don't know. It could be because of the launch, that. Oh no. Do you see something coming? I do. Oh. Or is, am I just getting a better look of the... I think the uh, Allure is pushing out. Oh. Are we zoomed in? Yeah, we're zoomed in all the way. I, I gotcha. I'm just going to stick my head out there. I'll yeah, I, I can't see anything with my bare eyes, but it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Robert's going to put some human eyes on it and see if he can see anything. Can you tell? Yes, it's moving. Yay! Okay. And that is the Allure? I believe so, because that's right where it was parked. Okay, beautiful. Docked, parked. It's not a car, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the point. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, you can see you can see it much clearer than we could see it before. So, that yeah. is very true, it's, yeah. So the Allure is the next ship to leave. We'll just give you another quick little glimpse there. Okay, again, Allure of the Seas, 225,282 tons, built in 2010. Uh, 1,187 uh, 1, feet long, 215 feet wide, 6,780 passengers. It is leaving right now. It's funny. I, I didn't hear a horn or I didn't hear anything. You know, again, with the headsets on, it, it is kind of hard to hear things. Well, I can hear like that dog barking behind us. Well, I hear that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple dogs here. They're They're trying to talk to one another. Hey, I'm here. I'm your size. <laughs> I, I, I love watching little dogs because they always think they're like, you know, 80 pounds when they're like five. <laughs> <laughs> come right. on, here, come on, I'm going to get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> the dog's like, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the little ones are always feisty. <laughs> right. Macrina says, and previously lives, we heard the sail away party. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And and again, it's because it wasn't as windy. Um, and so, well, plus we didn't have these on. You were hearing the other mics that had no uh, processing on them at all. So it was just wide open. If we had those mics, it would just be the whole time. You would barely even hear us talk. Yeah, I do believe that. I'm very thankful for the headset mics this day. <laughs> hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. You are going on the Mardi Gras in May and Ooh, can't wait. Oh, nice, I know. nice, nice. We had the Mardi Gras on one of the last uh, streams we did here from Port Canaveral. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, beautiful ship. We've we've uh, not been on the Mardi Gras, but we've been on her sister ships, um, both the Jubilee and the Celebration. Yep. Um, we've been on the Celebration I, three times. Um, Jubilee, we did her inaugural. Um, but Mardi Gras is on the list to, to get to because we'd like to even it's you know the first of its class. Yeah. Uh, but we want to see what it looks like different from the others. So we'll get there and, and do our our tours. Yeah. But you're going to get there before we are. 
<laughs> so if you want to show the ship to us, just yeah. you know, email, email us, us. That's right. Right. <laughs> and you can come on the show live. <laughs> Tuesday, hey, I made it. Hey, did you say the Freedom is leaving and has uh, uh, has or does not have passengers? No, it does not have passengers Tuesday. So a, a lot has happened during the day today. Um, in short, as a recap for those joining us late who didn't know, um, uh, again, Carnival Freedom had a fire on board two days ago on the funnel. It is the second time that ship has had a funnel fire. In fact, the funnel was just re uh, the new one was just reattached in October of last year. I mean, literally just put on. Um, and uh, it was in port yesterday in, uh, uh, in Freeport. It pulled into Freeport to get some emergency repairs done to it. Um, and according to the first press releases, operational status of the ship was not affected so that everything, all the new cruises were going to continue. Um, even just yesterday morning, they put out another press release saying, yep, it's all good. Everybody's safe. All is well. Awesome. And then yesterday, you know, Sometime in the afternoon, another pr uh, press release was set out that uh, the damage is much further than they expected uh, upon inspection um, and that uh, they had to cancel two more cruises. And so uh, it did come back here today, um, obviously, to drop off the people that were on the ship. Um, but it is now going to sail today empty back to Freeport uh, to be there for the next uh, eight to ten days. Uh, to do the repairs necessary to that ship to make sure that it is 100% safe for the next set of people that are going to be going on board. So there you go. But it is in port. Um, I see the, the allure is coming, but um, Lisa and I shot this as we got here today. That's what it looks like right now. I mean, that's from a few hours ago. All right, so that's uh, it's all burned out. So they obviously got up there with some torches and, you know, cut out all the, again, dangly bits, as uh, John Hill would say. So, yeah, that's what the, the damage looks like to the to the new funnel. That's, jeez, December, January, February, March. It's not even six months old yet. It's I like know. five months old. Yeah, it's an infant. <laughs> Toast. Yeah. Man, crazy. I know. But here comes the allure, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Gonna try your luck? Of course. <laughs> Damn, I gotta try my luck. Uh, there, there's a sixth <laughs> ship, by the way, and we keep on forgetting to mention that uh, for those who are joining us late. We are not gonna get to see it depart because it, this is a port of call for it. It's not leaving until 10 o'clock tonight. Is the the MS Vista from uh, Oceania or Oceania, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, it is a brand new ship, 2013. Uh, I think it was what 76 thousand tons something like this or 67 67 thousand yeah. tons holds 1200 passengers beautiful looking ship we saw it again as we were approaching the port mm -hmm. um but our eyes of course were focused mostly on trying to get uh, uh, a little bit of video of the funnel for everybody because i know since we're here and it's here people would ask so uh we we tried to at least get that for you guys yeah absolutely and yeah. the the original schedule was that the Freedom was going to be leaving at 3.30, and she has not left. Um, when we came here, we didn't know if she would be following the schedule and just heading out as if she had passengers. Um, obviously, she has not, so I don't know when she will actually be leaving today. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Or if she'll be leaving today. <laughs> um, I, I believe so, but... Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they need to get there and get this this work done, right? So, there we go. You're welcome. Uh, Tuesday was saying thank you for, for that. You missed the most recent update. Yeah, I mean, look, y'all are working and stuff happens during the day that uh, you can't keep up. Fortunately, we're off today, obviously, because we're here with <laughs> you guys. <laughs> um, and so we were able to catch up with uh, with the news. We had other things. Um, Royal Caribbean. What was that? Oh, Royal Caribbean is canceling a cruise as well. This was a shocker that I saw. Um, the um, Spectrum is having to cancel its June 14th cruise. Um, the reason is because that ship has now been chartered. Oh, wow. During. Uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Sorry, everybody. Virtual joystick. Not behaving. 
It's still better than having to physically get out. Get and... out there with the camera. Oh, yes. without, without a doubt. <laughs> um, yeah, so that ship has been chartered in sort of short notice. Um, it didn't say who chartered it, obviously, so I don't think it's like one of like the, uh, you know, 80s rock cruises or something like that. Um, but uh, so everybody that was booked on that ship is uh, going to receive a full refund. You better get over there if you're going to get them oh, to blow their horn. Yeah. You know what? I'm not no? going to try because okay. you don't know how to control I don't. This. You're right. I don't. And I think it's more important to, to, to keep the it ship on. That makes sense. Then for me to try to get them to blow their horn. Sorry, go ahead. Continue with the, they're being chartered. Anyway, so everybody's going to get a full uh, refund um, and a future cruise credit as well. Um, they can be moved to a different sailing um, on the same ship or, or there were several options. And, and I hate trying to do this without having the actual real stuff. So, God, it's beautiful. I know. <laughs> I just, I, all the ships are beautiful, not just that one. But that one is so big. And there we go. We've got a few people up, up on the upper decks waving. There we go. There are some people waving. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to mute my mic. We're about to lose the ship here. There we go. Yeah, I just muted my mic so you guys didn't have to listen to the wind as much. That is one big ship. We'll, we'll give you a little music. I need to put some Caribbean music in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Become part of the Doll Man Clan. It's free to you. It costs you nothing. And it really helps out the channel. Let's everyone know that you like these kind of videos. We do appreciate it. That is one big ship. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I, do, I do like having the camera up that high. You get a really good shot of the, the backside of that ship. Yes, you do. Maybe if I put my hand, like, right here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that does make oh. a really big difference, oddly enough. <laughs> I would have thought it would be on mine more. I know, right? Yeah. I, I, but then you can't hear me. <laughs> or maybe a little bit. Well, just put yeah. your hand on the other side of your mouth. Oh, yeah, I can wind, but, you know, it's, it's a catch-22. We have sides for the tent. Oh, but, yeah, but then but we wouldn't be able a, to see. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to see, we, but we they got the camera. See. Right? Yeah. But it's now also a bigger sail That's for the true. wind to catch. It is. That's true. I, I just have to sit here like this. <laughs> <laughs> so. But, you know, maybe that's something <clears throat> that we have to think about in the future. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe like a piece of plexiglass or something. Yeah. Here. Right there. Because that's how the wind blows every time when we're here. It is. It blows the same way. Bye, Allure. Let's get a closer look at her, shall we? Oh, yeah. There we go. 
Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Everybody, you yes. get applause. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're, I'm not trying to whisper. I'm just holding this up so you don't have to hear the wind and I don't have to mute the mic. <laughs> that is just too funny. <laughs> the windscreen is just not, you know, I wonder how bad it would be without the windscreen on there. Oh my goodness. Right? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, plus having the camera up that high doesn't capture, you know, a lot of people in the surrounding area. Oh, that's true too. Some, yeah. Some good views. That is true. Oh, guys. We have another ship we coming? We have another ship coming. Oh, who's coming now? I don't know. Let's whip this sucker around. All right. I'm thinking it's probably Mariner, since they were scheduled to go at the same time. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not Carnival. No, it's not. So, yeah, Mariner. Yep. Do you have stats on Mariner? <laughs> Bev just says, Mariner is moving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you want to put up the stats for Mariner? Sure. Let's see the stats for Mariner. Mariner of the Seas, 138,000 tons, built in 2003. It's uh, 1,020 feet long, 158 feet wide, carries 4,000 passengers, and it is on the move. Yes, it is. And there she is coming down the channel now. It's in the home stretch now. <laughs> it's a long channel. Yeah, put the music back on. <laughs> <laughs> As she sets up down the middle of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I my, feel like I'm watching golf. I know. It's my best golf talk. <laughs> That's what I feel like sitting here, you know, with the, the headsets on and all this stuff. Right. Uh, Michael says, uh, looks cold there today, and I thought it was uh, cold here in Knoxville today, 66. Um, no. I, it, last time wind. I looked, it was 74. It's just very, very it's, windy. Um, I'll look to see if it's gotten any colder, but um, 73, so it's 73. But the wind's blowing at about 15 to 16, and then higher and then gusts, gusts, and it coming literally right off the water. It's just a little cool. So, I mean, it's not cold at all. It's just cool. Yeah. It's, look, it's no different when you go out, you know, uh, on the deck of the ship at night um, when it's at sea, right? It's windy out there, and it, it becomes a little bit cool. Um, and that's all this is. It's just cool because of the wind. Yeah. So. Yeah, we get out of the wind, and it's hot. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say hot here because it's overcast no, here that's on the coast. True. That's true. That's the only thing that sucks about the launch. We're only going to get a couple seconds of it, so I hope we're Oh, I didn't even camera. think about that. Yeah. SpaceX is also launching today around oh, 5 o'clock. Yeah. So. Yeah, hopefully it clears up a little bit. I mean, I do see a little bit of blue in the sky. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. So we're going to try to catch the launch for you guys as well. Yes. <laughs> Macrina says, uh, wind off the water is always chilling. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right, Macrina. Yeah, it, it does. it's not cold. It's just chilling a little bit, right? Donna says she's going to be on the Mariner in May. Nice. Awesome. Well, there she is coming right there at you. Hmm? You'll be on the Mariner when we're on either the Seascape or the Emerald Princess. The Emerald Princess is a 10-day Southern Caribbean. So we're going to uh, St. Kitts. Yeah, we're going to all kinds of cool places. And we were on the Mariner um, just recently. Yeah. Within the past year. So we've Late got some year. videos on the Mariner, too. Yep. Yeah, there's a full playlist on our channel, Donna, if you haven't seen it. But I, I think you have. But if you haven't, there's a full playlist there for you. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy the Mariner. Yeah. There we go. That's we had one of those full window ocean view rooms on deck 12. Yep. Hey, Larry. 
It's gorgeous with flat sleeves here in the Caribbean aboard Celebrity Ascent. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Next launch, Robert, wonder if we can see it near Puerto Rico. Yeah, I, I don't know which way it's uh, angling out, uh, Larry, it, um, but it's supposed to launch. Uh, the launch window opens at 5, and so I don't know 1,000 percent exactly in the relationship to where we are with our camera, where it goes off, but we've been told it's sort of directly behind us, so we are going to aim the camera out that direction around 5 o'clock and uh, see if we can get it. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit limited in capacity with stuff here today, so I don't have... Maybe I can try looking it up on my phone to see if we can find a countdown. And David Dave just says, said... T minus 48 minutes to launch. Yes. Okay, so 48 minutes to launch. That would put it at uh, 5.08. David, if you can keep us up to date on that, if you don't mind, buddy. I know there's probably only about a 30-second uh, um, delay here right now with us, so... Um, let us know when there's about a minute left, maybe two minutes, and we'll uh, move the camera around and see if we can uh, capture it for you. All right. There is the Mariner, folks. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Yes. Thank you so much. Team effort. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> thank you all so much. And somebody else who gave us a thumbs up, too. Thank you so much. Oh, thank for that. you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, it is, Wendy. Thanks. It is. Wishing you were with us. Larry, us too, man. <laughs> this is the best we can do. We're going to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> In a couple days, we potentially may have another surprise for everybody, but let's see. We'll see. We're working on stuff. Hey, Larry, is Jared holding down the fort? God, it's, I, I hope the camera does it justice because, I mean, they're so big, guys. I mean, these ships are just, you know, just, and they're right, they're just, they're right there. Zoom in, you can see everybody up on the top deck partying. <laughs> I wonder if any of them have hit their 15 drink maximum already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go with the drink limit again. <laughs> hey, I didn't start it. <laughs> I would love to know what that big round yellow thing at the top was originally supposed to be. I mean, what they used it for originally. Now they don't do anything with it. We went up there and shot some video of there of it when we were on the Mariner. And we're like, yeah, not sure what they do up here. <laughs> No, it's just the big brown sphere. <laughs> wow. Ooh, it is howling it right is. now. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta got give him a call. Oh, well, Larry's going on Wonder next. And, nice. And, uh, nice. Larry, there's no other updates about anything else, by the way. Just saying. I'm so mad at myself for forgetting that equipment. Oh, I know. <laughs> this would be so easy. I know. <laughs> but we just endure and we just continue and we just roll with the punches. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this is why a lot of people are afraid to do like long time long term sort of live um, especially with a lot of equipment it's one thing if you turn your phone on it's just a phone but you know we have graphics we've got this we've got all kinds of things that we bring you guys and uh, well that that takes a lot of stuff and patience and when stuff goes south, the ability to just kind of roll with it and 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 fumble through it as it's happening while the camera's rolling while you're live. Uh, it's it's why I have such a 
a, an affinity for those uh, who just in not just in the cruise industry youtubers or whatever but just regular broadcasts like live broadcasts the amount of things that have to go right <laughs> they're in the thousands right a thousand things have to go right for a live broadcast right you know especially if there's you know 10 or 12 different camera guys and the trucks and the this and the that and all the the wiring just one wire gets unplugged or something and everything goes haywire it it's i have all the respect for the for the folks who who do live television true that is very true right that is very true no nope, this way a bit more all right, I'm going to stick my head out and see if the next ship is coming this way yet. All right. We will just continue watching the Mariner. Uh, the Freedom is still where it has been, so it hasn't moved. The Disney Wish it looks like it hasn't moved. Um, well, of course, Disney's know, not scheduled to leave, leave until, until five. five. Right. So, hmm. yeah, but the freedom still hasn't moved yet. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I wonder now because of the uh, potential potential launch. We'll say that because there's always a chance that it gets scrubbed. Um, I I think the weather's good enough. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I don't know what the wind threshold is, but um. There's, there's no rain, there's no storms. It's a very thin, low layer of clouds, which unfortunately for viewing sucks um, because we're only going to get to see it for a few seconds and then it's going to be gone uh, above the clouds. Well, I'm thinking the wind is not going to be a problem because they are having the countdown. And if Well, they, the wind... always, they always have the countdown. Okay. Um, they would usually get to a, like a two-minute minute... hold or ten-minute hold or something, yeah. Gotcha. I don't see the, uh, what time is it? It's about 4.30. Yeah. Um, just... um, the victory, the um, casino no, ship. No, they didn't come in, did they? They usually come in around 4, 4.30. Yeah. And the other thing, do, do we remember, Did um, does the victory get an escort like the cruise ships do? No, I don't believe so. Not at all? I don't believe so. All right. Uh Yeah, I can't tell. I think we probably have a little bit of time here before the next, before the Disney <sighs> ship leaves. But is, that will definitely be really interesting if the Disney ship and the launch go off right at the same time. <laughs> Larry says, it used to be a trampoline bouncer with bungee cords and a 3D video set up till someone got her badly, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Marine Tracker has no definitive departure time still for the Freedom. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, it was originally scheduled for 3.30, like the Liberty. So, um, but again, that was, that was prior to yeah. all of this happening. So obviously the clock is ticking one way or the other because... They need to get it to Freeport to get the repairs done. They've canceled two cruises because of it. so They're not going to leave it sitting here no. for any length of time. Correct. So uh, anyway, that's just our thoughts on it. Who knows what it really is. We do have the escort that's just kind of hovering behind us here. Yeah. Yes, waiting until um, get a little bit closer to time for Disney to leave. Well, it's funny we we, we ask about the the the, the Victory cruise ship, uh, the Victory uh, casino yeah. ship. It always seems to be coming at the same time um, that others are leaving, and so maybe that's why it doesn't get an escort. I I don't know. Maybe it doesn't need it because it's not nearly as big as the big cruise ships, or I really don't know. Not as much security is given to it. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. You guys still seeing a good shot of uh, the Mariner? Or do I need to... Are we zoomed in all the way? Yeah, we're zoomed in all the way. Are you guys still seeing that good enough? Well, 
for those joining us late. Sorry for the hand up in my face, but I'm blocking the wind. If I put it down, <laughs> that's what you see. Off in the distance is the Mariner. It has already gone by us. Also, the uh, Carnival Liberty has already left, and the Allure of the Sea has already left. Um, oh, it says launch is actually scheduled for 742 there tonight. They are rebroadcasting Saturdays prior to tonight. Interesting. Yeah, oh. we, we looked at the launch schedule last night or this morning. I forget what time it was um, or what day it was when I did it, but it was either late last night or this morning. Um, and it said that launch window opened today at 5 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to make it to 7 o'clock. No, bat- uh, we sure the, won't. The batteries aren't going to last that long. <laughs> we're, we're 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 in the middle of uh we're not plugged in here we're, we've carried bar- batteries with us anyway um back to um the departures so the freedom is still scheduled to leave at some point and the disney wish is uh still back behind us um i'm pretty sure um we can't see the mariner anymore so let's spin Pal around. I'm sorry, pal. Pal. <laughs> and that is, yeah, I mean, it, guys, it is howling out here. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> oh, that's up. Down. Nope. Over. Here we go. Yep. So David said uh, there, yep, so I'm not even going to, but interesting. There's people sitting here waiting for the launch. Yeah. Um, seems kind of early for them to be out here. I mean, it's three hours away, three hours and 10 minutes to be exact. But David, thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. Like I said, this is a team effort, what we do here, guys. Lisa and I might be in front of the camera, but, you know, you guys are all there providing information as well. And so... Uh, Absolutely. We can't tell you how much we appreciate it. That's how this all works. Yeah. So... My uh, big question remaining is, will Disney blow all their horns? I, oh. <laughs> I, I, I may have to get up and uh, try to get them to do it like I did la- last time. They blew, they blew every everything. horn they, they had. <laughs> ev- every musical compilation they had on their system. <laughs> but we had microphone issues, so we didn't get any of it. <laughs> yeah, didn't we? Did we? I, I didn't know. think we got any of it. I don't oh, know. my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for being with us. So this is, uh, uh, we're looking up the channel uh, into the port. We are at the end of the port. Um, The Carnival Liberty was literally tied off right there, right just what you're looking at, right in front of your screen. Uh, That's the terminal off to the right side of the screen. And you can see sort of the, I think they call davits that they're tied off. Again, it's right That sounds right. And so it was the first one to leave it. Um, actually went into the port further, did a U-turn in what's called the mid-basin, and then went out to sea. So that was the first one to leave. Then the Allure was docked halfway into the port. Um, it's the biggest ship. It doesn't... It's it's the Royal Caribbean main terminal is halfway down. Um, and so it left right after that. And then uh, as soon as that got going, um, before it was even out of our sight, the Mariner came sailing down the channel um and so we just watch that one leave there are still two more ships we have the carnival freedom and the disney wish for those joining us late still to go we are unsure uh if the carnival freedom is actually going to be leaving while we're here um it does not have passengers on board Um, they had to cancel this cruise and the next one because of the fire they had on board uh two days ago um, they're now scheduled to go to Freeport to have the damage um, mitigated, if you will, um, so that the ship is safe and sound for other passengers to board. Um, they were thinking it would be, but uh, upon inspection yesterday, they found out it was not. So they've had to cancel a couple cruises. Uh, but it was scheduled to leave at 3.30, so we were a little bit uh, shocked that it didn't come down the channel. And um, I'm going to stick my nose back there again. Here, let me make sure. I just we need to buy bigger cables. Yeah, longer cables. <laughs> just don't trip on them. No, no, <laughs> no. I I can I can see the whale tail. It's in between 
the towers, uh, the um, gantry cranes. And so I can see the top of the ship. It's it's just sitting there. So I'm thinking it's waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I. I wasn't sure. I just. I. I had no idea if. If the. Uh, the freedom was going to. To leave on its scheduled time or not? Obviously, it did not. Um. So now, yeah, it is kind of curious. Uh, just wondering when it is going to be leaving. Um, don't know if they're going to leave today or tomorrow or when, but I can't imagine they're going to stay here any length of time. Fortunately, that's the camera, so you're behind it, so you're not on there. But you can come behind us if you want to be on the camera. <laughs> We, we are called Tall Man's Cruise Adventures, so we're broadcasting live to YouTube right as we speak, uh, all the cruise ship departures. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, that's cool. So we come out here occasionally and uh, catch them when we're in town. Are the cruise ships coming out? Yeah, we have the uh, Disney Wish coming out uh, at least uh, in about 30 minutes, um, and the Carnival Freedom was supposed to have already left, but... Uh, it's sailing empty because of a fire they had on board a couple days ago. So they're on their way to Freeport. So I'm not sure if it's going to come out after the wish or before the wish, but it's supposed to leave as well. Okay. Yeah, you just missed. You what? Yeah, we got uh, but that's tonight at 7 something. My batteries are probably going to be dead by then. So we probably aren't going to catch the launch, at least live as we're here. This is what we do, guys. We're here live. People come up and talk to us. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're also the information tent. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there he is. This, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you, a.k.a. the tall man. It's my lovely wife, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Thank you, guys. Yep, <laughs> you, you can tell everybody you're on, on YouTube today. It's, yep. Ryan from Wisconsin. Yeah, All so right. this is good weather for you. Oh, this is great weather. Yeah, we got our hoodies on, and you're out here in shorts and a T-shirt. <laughs> you can tell the tourists. We're from, we're from Indiana. We're see? The see? One there. Where are you? Yeah. Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue fan. Huh? Purdue fan. There you go. Bless <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but we've got a tent over here and people are cheering and, and somebody no, else he, over here. We're here covering uh, the cruise ship departures. Oh, okay. The launch will be tonight around 740. Oh, 740? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, um, well, the launch window opened at 5, and that's what we thought, but we have somebody, one of our people that's watching us live, feeding us information, and they said it's now scheduled to go off at 7.42. 7.42. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good stuff. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> like I said, we're also information. <laughs> Get your hot popcorn here. <laughs> Ooh, popcorn. Popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Refreshments. <sighs> popcorn. <laughs> All right, it's popcorn break, everybody. Everybody get a snack. We're waiting for the next ship to come, so it's time to have a snack. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is famous popcorn. Mm. Oh, yeah. Though I'll tell you, when we were up in Buffalo without the RV and in and, and the hotel, we got kettle corn. Kettle corn like put in the microwave it was actually really pretty good i was surprised how good it was you thought, no. yeah not anymore the wind mm. blew it mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> oh where's danny danny's not even here i cut the grass yesterday <laughs> <laughs> you missed it <laughs> you and blake cut the grass i did inside joke <laughs> did y'all like seeing Blake the other day? He came on and spent a couple minutes with us. With you? With me, yeah. He was sitting in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I actually left the uh, intro. Normally after we do a live, it takes 24 hours for YouTube to do what it does. But um, once it does it, I then will go back and cut out the first five minutes because, you know, Nobody wants to watch the rebroadcast of the five minutes. We just do that when we're live to let everybody get in and, and get ready. But uh, because Blake was there, I, I left it on there so he can Aww. watch it. Aww. 
<laughs> he wasn't quite sure what to think about the, the headphones. No, no. <laughs> Everybody who just came in, we are live right now at Port Canaveral. We're in a... In a, in a and an operational pause. Hmm. Holding so having, pattern. Holding pattern. We're, we're having popcorn. Mm -hmm. um, we're waiting on the Disney wish to come down the channel. Um, we've already seen the Liberty. That was the first one to leave. Then the Allure was next. And then after that, the Mariner. And we still have um, the Disney wish and the uh, Carnival Freedom to leave. Um, but it just, there's this unknown factor as if the Freedom is actually going to, to, to depart while Daylight is here. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Oh, what what kind was the uh... side hustle? I know. <laughs> That's why I said get shot popcorn here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cold um, ranks. So the kind that we tried was called Act Three. Um, I've seen different brands, and I think we're gonna try them all and see which one we like. The kettle corn, um, that is. The kettle corn, yeah. The regular popcorn wasn't that good. <laughs> no, no, the, the regular kettle popcorn was, great. was not. But the kettle corn was good. Um, yeah, so I think we we're going to try the different brands and see which one we like best, but Act 3 was not bad. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were, we were, were shocked. Right? It, it wasn't like kettle corn you might get at a fair. It wasn't that good. But, no, it wasn't but, crispy, but it just had that sweet really flavor. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. McQueen is like, Blake's a sweetie. Oh. <laughs> yes, he is. Thank you. <laughs> Short man, a tall man. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll try to get him. Like on camera, on camera, as opposed to just the intro. Yeah, he's really starting to talk a lot. <laughs> he'll be he'll be four in a month. Yeah. But uh, developing he, quite the sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes through phases where he wants to have a full-on conversation with you, and others where he just like will sit there, you know, you, like he'll come home from school or whatever, and he comes over and just kind of sit there. I'm like, well. What you do today? I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? You just got home from school. I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I wanted you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, he's he's definitely developing quite the sense of humor. <laughs> yes. <sighs> So what's everybody having for your snacks, for your, uh, for, for our holding pattern, our little break here, our wait for Disney? <laughs> I want to mute myself. Well, no, I don't have to. No. All right. All right. Mm. I wish I could zoom in a little bit further with the camera. I know that you guys can see me standing here still in, in, in my camera, but there's the gantry cranes, which if you look... Oh, just to uh, center of the camera, just a little bit to the left of center, center horizontally, center vertically. There's a couple gantry cranes there. Okay, the Carnival Freedom is at a a dock, a terminal behind those. I mean, it's it's up a ways, but I can actually see the whale tail in like to the right of the second gantry crane. And again, I don't know if you guys can, I can't zoom in anymore for you to see, but it's just to the right of that second gantry, gantry crane. And yeah, so it's, it's not moving yet. I was really hoping to get a good shot of the, uh, the Oceania, uh, Oceania or Oceania, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, but it, it's not leaving until 10 o'clock tonight. So, our batteries are definitely not going to last that long. In definitely fact, How are not. we doing? 83% on the big one. Oh, that's good. Well, yeah, but that's not the one running the computer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind then. <laughs> what was that? Um, that says energy saver. So you touch the battery on the computer somehow? Yeah, I'm trying to... We have the... There you go again, energy saver. Okay. Let's uh, disconnect for a couple minutes. All right. See how that does. There you go. We've almost killed the other, that, that battery's got like two dots left. Gotcha. 
Macarena is having rice cakes and honey roasted peanut butter scraped on. Very nice. Nice. There you go. And Lori Lori says, I love honey roasted peanut butter, but I like it on a rice crispy treat. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that sounds good. (laughs) Macarena says, yeah, act three is pretty good. Yeah. Yep. So we're, we're just in a holding pattern, guys. You're looking up into the port. Uh, of here at Port Canaveral. We are waiting on the last two ships to leave. Um, the Disney Wish will more than likely be the next one out. Um, it is scheduled to leave around 5 o'clock. And so we are just sitting here waiting for it to leave. We do have the Carnival Freedom still. And so um, I don't know if we're going to see it or not. It it's, doesn't have passengers on there, so it's not necessarily on a schedule that way. Um, obviously, it is, uh, well, maybe not obviously, uh, it is on its way to Freeport for repairs. Uh, so I don't know what its schedule is, and Freeport isn't that far, I don't think. So um, I don't know. You know, maybe they can't get there until, like, late tomorrow because there's already a ship there. I, there could be all kinds of things playing into why it's still sitting there. Um, and since there are no passengers on there, um, well, they're not in a hurry. So Tuesday, by the way, says a grapefruit is today's snack. Excellent. Ooh, nice. Uh, or is like, hooray for Tuesday, but it's Monday. It's just high Tuesday. <laughs> All dressed up chips with everything hummus. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good too. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Yeah. My Lord. All these good snacks. I love it. <laughs> well, this will be the second stream we didn't see Danny. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. I hope he's, um, hope he's oh, he, better. Oh, he, he uh, left some comments. Did he? You okay. Know, he, he watched the replay. Oh, some okay. comments. All right. Yeah, well, I knew the last time he was on the stream, um, he wasn't feeling well, so we're just hoping he's better. Well, sometimes he, uh, well, he's at work right now, so, I mean, man well, has to work. Well, that's man true. has to work so we can go on a ship and play. Exactly. We get that. Right? <laughs> we totally get that. <laughs> So since we're in a pause, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mute the mics, give you a little music for just a couple of minutes, and we'll be right back.
Well, there you go. Five minute break is up. <laughs> that was rather abrupt. <laughs> we'll we'll work on that. <laughs> we, we've never done that before, so no. <laughs> just something else new. All right. So what has happened while we left? Uh, KB Gaming says, "I like you guys set up. Thank you very much." Well, you yeah, know? thanks. Um, we are using a couple of uh, Ozbot uh, tiny cameras. They're um, TMZ, um, TMZ, TZM. Uh, uh, try, tilt, tilt zoom, zoom pan TZP, yeah, TZP. <laughs> TZP. Um, um, I'm using a Rode uh, Caster Duo um, with the Rode Caster uh, headset and microphone situation going on here um, we're broadcasting with uh, uh, a Mac laptop using Ecamm Live that's how we're coming to you which allows me to do all the cool fun overlays like this because we still have the Disney Wish coming 144,000 tons built in 2022. It is 1,119 feet long, 125 feet wide, holds 4,000 passengers. It's supposed to leave here in just a couple minutes. So she'll be coming around the corner here hopefully in just a couple minutes. And so, uh, yeah, what the, the main picture you're looking at is a uh, uh, camera that we have. It is very windy here today. So um, that camera is on a very, very tall stand up 16 feet in the air. So we have great shots coming down uh, the canal or from the port. Mm -hmm. So that, that's our setup. Uh, plus the tent and the table and all kinds of other things. And we don't have the lighting turned on yet. Uh, we're probably not going to get it. No, we might be able to. Uh, but um, it's not dark enough to turn on the lights, I don't think. I don't think it would do anything but drain batteries. Yeah, you're probably right. But we have it set up so whenever it does get dark, if we are still out here and still have oh, batteries. The lights aren't working now. <laughs> Figures. I don't know what's going on this darn thing. <laughs> what about yours? Uh, let's see. Up. Is the battery. Oh, in the middle. Is the battery's not dead because we oh. have audio. 82%. Oh, but it's not responding. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so we don't have lights. Yeah, who knows <laughs> what's going up, on. They're set up, but they're not operational. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. We're just, you know, all the stuff, we still have to figure out how it all works. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Know, new gear, we're just playing around yep. with it. So, <laughs> we have lights set up, but they're not working. Yeah. Anyway, so, they were working before we started. All right, Bev says... <clears throat> One of the tracking pages uh, says ETA for Freedom in Port is uh, in Freeport. In Freeport is at twelve uh, ten twelve tomorrow. Uh, it took them about nine hours to get to uh, Canaveral uh, from there from yesterday, um, and so maybe they're not leaving until late tonight. Yeah, potentially. I mean, uh, they can't get in till uh, ten tomorrow, and it's a nine-hour trip. That means they could leave at one o'clock in the morning and get there right in time. So yeah. Um, we obviously won't be here for that. Uh, yep. Uh, TMZ, LOL. That's Hollywood TMZ. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Lori just say sounds delicious. They're talking about their snacks, everybody. So. Yes. yes. But for those joining us late, we are live. We are here at Port Canaveral. We've been watching the cruise ships depart today. We already got to see the Liberty, Carnival Liberty leave which was parked right behind us, so it was the first one to leave. In fact, I can see the Disney Wish moving. Can you? I can. I'm going to confirm, Very nice. but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm seeing. Very nice. I see it nosing out. Well, so after the Carnival Liberty, we um, saw the uh, Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas, and after that, um, yep. it was the Mariner of the Seas. Yep, she's moving. All right, beautiful. So we are about to get a really good look at the Disney Wish. Yep. And I'm going to go back there and act a fool and see if I can get it to blow its horns. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to lower the gate threshold on my microphone. And, <laughs> and just, yeah, let the wind blow and hopefully we'll get some good horns. <laughs> Won't be able to sample it, but, you know, whatever. All right. Yeah, you can see her nosing out down there, right? We're zoomed in as far as we can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Whew. The uh, the virtual joystick disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, where'd it go? Oh, no. We, we took a break, and it did, too. Yeah. Like, Come oh, back. No. I need you. <laughs> we are. You, you're talking about gear. We're, we're actually missing some of the stuff we normally use yeah. to make this work for us. Um, just, I forgot a piece of gear. <laughs> It's the tiniest little piece. Uh, happened to forget it today, so uh, we're we're uh, slap this together. 
And that tiny <laughs> little piece allows about five different things to uh, communicate. Operate, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. We're, we're having to, like I said, we're having to MacGyver this little uh, chocolate bar and some chewing gum and we're making this work. He's doing it because I'm just going, I, I, we're using cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> We're going old school. I don't know. <laughs> the very first one we did, that's what we did. It was the camera yeah. on our computer, mm -hmm. um, and I connected the phone to it using the same Ecamm software, um, and I was just out there with the camera on a tripod moving it around so you all could see the ships, but um, this is a much better look. Yeah. So. Oh, you, so much smoother. <laughs> oh, God. That, that wind is just killing me. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, I just, I apologize to everybody now. I, <laughs> but if I turn the gate mm -hmm. way up... I got a, I got a scream for you guys to hear me. Oh my goodness! I wonder if yeah. the wind has changed or if it's picked up or let's see what uh, let's see what terrible Tom has to say. I don't know, but we'll, we'll we'll do our best here. There we go. Let's see if that's a little bit better. We'll try to go in the middle. He's no, still, still shows, 73. Still, he still uh, shows 14, 14 miles per hour. Yeah, I think it's just the gusts. It is right. So, um, it's steady. But there she comes. Nice. Walking down the street <laughs> of song. Hey, hey, with the monkeys. There's some words in there I'm missing, but you know. You missed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you missed a lot. I've been very clear. I'm not the words guy, I'm the music guy. <laughs> That's why I won't quit the day job. <laughs> and they're not here to hear me sing. Nope. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> uh, people from Indiana here today, and uh, a couple other people that stopped in to say hello. Yep. And we say hello to everybody out there. So hopefully you're with us live. If you're not watching us live and you're watching the replay, thank you so much for being with us. You know what you have to do. Right? You got to hit that subscribe button. Um, become part of the Tall Man Clan. It is free to you. Costs you nothing really helps out the channel it tells YouTube you like this type of video and if you like this type of video we will do more of it for you okay and again it's free thank you we appreciate you we really do yes okay? we do and at the same time you know what go, go to Facebook oh, that's again the wrong thing just again I don't have my equipment I'm so sorry <laughs> go to Facebook search out tall man's cruise adventures become part of our Facebook group um, again we do all kinds of different things there than we do here on YouTube we post different content, pictures and stuff. Um, I, I now also have um, Instagram and uh, TikTok, <laughs> but we haven't done anything there yet. So when we do that, we'll have the full gambit going, okay? Oh, you can see the wish. She's coming a little bit closer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Uh, KB Gaming says, our cruise is canceled because of lightning. Oh, really annoying. No. Oh, so you were down here to get on the uh, Freedom. Man. We are so sorry about that, really. Oh, my goodness. Um, are, yeah, we are. Are, are you uh, Floridian, or did you come in from somewhere else in the country? Let us know. Yeah, it's one thing, you know, there's there's a lot of people that, you know, they plan a year. This is their vacation time, right? They, they've taken off work. They've made their plans. Yeah. They've gotten, you know, their hotel, or their flights, and the family, the this, the that, the taking care of the babysitting for the dog i mean all these things yeah and then uh you know a freak accident like this if you will a lightning strike um you know causes some damage that's going to take a couple couple uh, uh let's just call it 10 days because they're canceled two five-day cruises um but uh in yeah. the end they've deemed it necessary for the safety of the vessel and all those aboard it and in the end that's what's absolutely most important um i know it does suck it does. Uh, yeah. I feel the same way for, for the people that were originally booked on the inaugural of the uh, new princess ship. The Sun Prince. Was it the Sun Princess? Yeah, Sun Princess. It canceled, like, what was it, three of the inaugurals? And everybody had to keep on rescheduling and rescheduling and rescheduling. Yeah. I, I know the, uh, the... The frustration. Yeah. Yeah. But I know that cost the... Uh, Thank you. The, the people who are, are built the boat, um, it cost them a pretty penny. Oh, without there, a doubt. there are huge penalties if ship uh, new ships aren't delivered on time. Yeah. For, for this exact reason, uh, you know, KB Gaming's issue was slightly different. But generally speaking, um, you know, people have made plans. The bookings have been done. Cruise lines have collected money from people for passengers. People have made their plans. And then when that all goes south because they couldn't deliver on time, it, it's a cascading effect. 
right? Just, I mean, just think of some of the other effects too, like, you know, uh, food that has been ordered to come on the ship, right? From local suppliers, and things. It's, it, there, there's, there's a lot that goes into motion um, when, when ships cancel uh, for whatever reason, right? Oh, so, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, she's getting a little bit closer, guys. I still can't see her out the back of us yet, but you guys can see her because that camera's up there pretty tall. I love having that tall camera. I know. <laughs> the tall stand. The tall stand, yes. Tiny camera. Tiny camera. The camera's like this big. Yeah, it's this tiny big. Camera. Sorry, I'm old school looking this way when the camera's up here. It's yeah, tiny it's tiny camera. <laughs> I think I've spent most of the stream looking down here and not up yeah. here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <sighs> It's funny, I do that too when we're uh, streaming during our night drives. The camera is attached to the rear view mirror and I'm looking at my cell phone and I'm talking to my cell phone when the camera is up. I mean, not that you're looking at me, but the sound, yep. you know, for the yep. sound of my voice, I'm not even talking at the camera. And what to broadcast out of the voice telling me here. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. The, the Disney ships, they are just so such gorgeous ships. They really they are. are. Very classic look. Yeah, they're beautiful. Still trying to figure out what they did buying that, that half-constructed ship. Yeah, from, wasn't it China? Yeah, Somewhere I, I in know. Asia, some, some country in Asia. Yeah. I think it was China. The, the hall was already constructed, right? So and it's yeah. a huge ship. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, it's kind of a strange move, I felt. Yeah, yeah, I thought too. But, you know, they know what they're doing. Yeah. They got a plan. They've got a plan. We're mm -hmm. sticking to it. A lot, a lot of people have gathered down here now. Yeah, it, I'm it, thinking they're. Everybody still thinks that. Well, it's it's a little bit after five, so. Well, it, but it comes in waves, like the people. No, yeah. well, that's true. I was just thinking that a lot of people may be still thinking that the um, the uh, SpaceX is launching at five. Yeah, it could be. It could be. The Disney Wish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful ship. Beautiful. Maybe because the gathering, they'll uh, they'll blow their horn. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to go back there with the bullhorn and try to get it, but I am going to stand up, turn the gate off of my microphone so it's wide open, and uh, see if we get them... Try to do a little wind block too there. I'm gonna. I, I. I'll be facing the other way. So that may help. Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually worse. Is it? I'd have to stand like I can stand like this. Or turn but, your head that way. Yeah. Those horns are pretty loud. They are pretty loud. <sighs> Oh, she's coming, everybody. Yes. But when I do that, we may lose sight because Lisa doesn't. I don't. I'm using this virtual joystick for those of you joining us late to move the camera around. And so. Uh, do you want me to go out there and give them the trucker arm? Your your thing is going to be long enough because of where you sit to reach. Oh, I was just going to take my headset off. Oh, I need the headset to catch the volume. Well, you could. No, it's all right. No, okay. I got it. Okay. We'll work it out. Okay. When you have a bon star, and you will have you. I go up in the Sky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got goosebumps and they're not good. <laughs> and we're like, mm -hmm. I actually worked for Disney for five years. Most of you didn't know that. Lori says, anyone able, uh, Ben, to Nachi? Comcom and Cozumel, and is it any good? Don't know. I we have not been. I have not been. Anybody? Bueller, Bueller. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
It's a huge crowd gathering. Yes, it is for sure. God, They're the here for Disney, I think. Thank God we brought everything we did today. I know. Oh, my Lord. Holy mackerel. <laughs> and it, I mean, it just of course, it's just picking up right now, too. Of course. Mm-hmm. That says more like PTSD. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom all the way out, y'all. All All right. Look at that. It really is a beautiful ship. (laughs) Just walk through the tent. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Some people. (laughs) No respect. Right. I'm going to go walk through his living room. (laughs) (laughs) Now, now. (laughs) Well, I, I mean, there's the I cable know, for the camera wires, and I wires, know, and I, I know. we've got caution stuff up, and I know. <sighs> Just some people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go do your best. All right, I'm turning off the gate. Okay. All right, you're gonna hear a lot of wind sounds, guys. Let's see if he can get them to blow their horns. Wow, did y'all hear that? Only one today, though. Just one, but they still blew their horn. I know, they're the only ones. I know. Oh. That is amazing. I wonder if they're going to do more. I don't know. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one either. That's just spectacular. It is. <laughs> as much PTSD as I have that still. Now that gives me goosebumps. The good way. Right. That's spectacular. Are y'all hearing that? I hope so. I hope you guys can hear that. That may be it. Well, I sure hope you guys heard that. That was awesome. (laughs) Absolutely spectacular. Yes. Absolutely spectacular. (laughs) Let us know if you guys heard that. Oh, yeah, we that can says hear we can hear it. Beautiful. Yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> Morris says, so Robert and Lisa, did you get off Jubilee at all during port days? Love, love the horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so. Um, trying to remember where did we go? <laughs> did we go no, to Cozumel? And- I don't. I, I mean, a little bit, but. 
we didn't do any excursions. No, we, we just didn't. got off and walked around the port. Yeah. I, so I was thinking of um, the celebration, which we did. We did some excursions because that uh, was in Europe, and we'd never been to Europe before. Uh, but the Jubilee went down into the Caribbean the first time. So come on, zoom yeah, in there. So virtual. no, we did not get off the ship on. Uh, well, we did not do excursions, but yes, we did get off the the ship and walk around the ports. Yeah. That'll be a little bit better for the wind. Very nice. Um, and then second. Donna has a response Hang on for one Lori. Going. Sorry, everybody. I'm just. God, that's so painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still way better than. I know. Uh, Donna says, Lori, I've been to Nachi twice. It's very relaxing and has good food. The service was really poor in December, though. Um, we had uh, to hunt for a waiter down for food and drinks. But the atmosphere was great and the food was good when they got it. Wow. It's... That wind is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I can do it like that, but I have to scream for people to hear me because I got the gate up so loud. That That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just got to do it like this. <laughs> but now I'm going to be nasally because my fingers are against my nose. Oh, put your, take your finger down from your nose. <laughs> and I'm having to use my right hand. No, down, down, down. <laughs> and there it goes, Disney. <laughs> what a beautiful ship I am so glad you guys got to hear it I know, me too Me too Donna also says that uh, she's heard Lately that services declined And you guys said it wasn't great to begin with So yeah um, Rough one, right? Uh, if it's something that you can get to and walk off the ship then uh, I guess it is what it is, right? Um, roll with it. Uh, if you have to pay to get there or whatever, maybe you think about it twice. I don't know. Just thought. Are they headed towards a brunch of clouds? Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? it it's just a thin layer of clouds. Yeah, I think um, the cloud... Uh, the, yeah, it is. It's it is. It's just a small, skinny little line of, of uh, clouds, and then there's a little bit of break, and then there's a lot of puffy clouds. Yeah, there's a it's there's a little bit of blue there. It's it's generally been overcast today. It's kind of breaking up a little bit. It's pushing past us. It is. Um, you won't get to see it. It's it's clear on that side. On this side, yeah. Um, at least mostly. Sheesh. Which is really surprising because the wind at this level is is coming from. Well, it's coming mostly from that direction, yeah. and then the clouds are actually moving the upper, this way. The upper level winds. Yeah, the upper. Yeah. So it does look kind of odd. <laughs> so uh, what you're looking at is the Disney Wish. Um, if you just joined us, just rewind back five to ten minutes, and the ship blew its complement of horns when it was right behind us playing all the Disney's Disney-owned songs, <laughs> Star Wars and a couple others, but... Uh, um, yeah, it's that is just you know everybody gets used to the the, the big ship horn, but that ev is just every impressive. time I hear a, a Disney horn, it's just man. Yeah, it puts a <laughs> smile on my face, even though I have PTSD. <laughs> it's been five years working for Disney. <laughs> Donna did say that uh, she had great service at Playa Mia this past week in Cozumel. Um, I would only go to Playa Mia if you have kids in your party. If it's adults only, I would put, pick Nachi, um, Money Bar, or Tortugas. There you go. All adults, so Nachi it is. Good information. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> it's It's been quite some many years since we've done any real excursions um, in Cozumel. Um, I'm just going to stand up and come over here so you guys can see me here at least my body's blocking the wind um, <laughs> and so um, I'm not even sure things that we did are still done right because they change excursions a lot they do um, they change them frequently right so I um, wonder if I did this if it would help 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That did help, well, didn't it? A little bit. I don't know. <laughs> None of it's helping. It's, it, I thought it helped to begin with, but then, yeah. Yeah. No, it circled yeah. around and got you from the other side. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my, my tent legs are bent, man. We may have they to buy are. a new tent after today. I, I'm not sure we're going to get this thing to collapse. <laughs> yeah. It's, when we, and, and I know it says 14, but it is gusting well over 20. It, yeah, I would agree. It is pretty gusty for sure. Yeah. Anyway, so um, anyway, um, we will be doing at least uh, swimming with the stingrays when we go to uh, Grand Cayman. Yes. We've uh, picked that for sure. Oh yeah. Um, again, just backing up real quick, we are going to be getting on the Forenzi out of uh, Long Beach in California for its inaugural on uh, April twenty fifth. As soon as we are done uh, on that cruise, we fly back to uh, Florida uh, down to Miami to get on a back-to-back on the MSC Seascape. It is doing an Eastern Western. Um, and so we're going to get to go to some of our favorite places to go. One of it is Grand Caymans. And so, again, we're going to go swim with the Stingrays. It's our favorite thing to do. Yes. And then as soon as we get off of that, um, we're going to be getting on the Emerald Princess doing a 10-day Southern. So we're going to go cover, like, like a ton of Caribbean islands in, in the course of... Uh, uh, to, to, you know, 30 days, 20, 24, 25 days. So uh, we're excited about that. I'm excited about getting back on Princess. We haven't been oh, on I Princess know. in years. So absolutely, definitely going to give you updates on, on Princess. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So there you go. As you watch the Disney Wish sail off into the sunset. Well, it's not setting, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Here, we'll make one more adjustment. Hang with you guys a little bit. Hello, Antonio C. Welcome. Hi, Antonio. Better late than never, right? <laughs> he says, hey, tall man clan. I just got off work, so I missed Mickey's horns. You'll oh, have to rewind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to You got to rewind, man. Yeah. Yeah. Their that, horns are so impressive. Yeah. Goosebumps every time. <laughs> I sure hope that person in that vehicle over there actually decides to move. Because my truck is really much bigger than that. Mm. <laughs> Somebody has double parked right behind my truck. <laughs> so I'm not even, I wonder if it's close enough we can even load the truck. Again, people. So uh, that's probably the guy that walked through the tent. Probably <laughs> the same guy who walked through the tent. Just saying. <laughs> It's also hard because of the wind. It's it's uh, the the movement of the camera. You can see it's kind of turning to head south. You can s- still see the funnels a little bit. Yep. So. Yeah. There you go. So we uh, got to see uh, the Liberty of the Seas. Then we saw the Allure. Not not Sorry, Liberty, Liberty of the, the Seas. seas. The, the Carnival, Carnival Liberty. Liberty. <laughs> yep. Carnival Liberty. <laughs> Then uh, the allure of the seas. Yes. Then, then we got Mariner to see the, the Mariner of the Seas. And then uh, we just saw Disney. Um, the Carnival Freedom, who we we're expecting to see, um, it's still here. It uh, is not taking on passengers. It had to cancel a couple cruises because of the fire. Um, and uh, research from the Tall Man Clan tells us that it's not due into Freeport until tomorrow around 10. And it's about a nine-hour journey, so they are still here. So we're not going to get to see it leave. Also, the MS Vista from Oceania or Oceania is still uh, is here. Um, uh, this is a port of call for them today. Um, it's not due to depart until ten o'clock. So uh, we're not going to get to see it leave either. Unfortunately, yeah, we were really hoping to to be able to um, to get the carnival freedom. We really were. Yeah, we we did uh, catch this for those joining us late. That is, uh, that's what the funnel currently looks like right now. I don't know what it'll look like uh, ten days from now if they're just going to cut it all off like they did the last time or what they're going to do. But uh, that is literally a video that we shot uh, at about uh, two o'clock today before we uh, started setting this up and uh, so that was uh, s- sitting here at the Port Canaveral so uh, um, they obviously in Freeport yesterday cut off uh, again all the dangly bits and the stuff that had uh, collapsed off of there and made it as safe as possible um, uh, for them to return back there uh, I guess tomorrow so 
that is what the carnival freedom currently looks like so there you have it everybody we appreciate you all joining us thank you so much for being with us yet again um, and uh, if you like the cruise ship departures share these videos with your friends uh, if you like them we will do more of them we enjoy them yes we do. but we want to make sure you enjoy them as well so please let us know if you're watching the replay leave a comment for us and until we see you all again somewhere on a cruise at a cruise departure or just driving down the road <laughs> Y'all be safe. <laughs>